hardest book I have ever written is finally done and I know that it's by the grace of God that I got here. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh hello if you are new. If you are new here, my name is Maddie Suggs and I am a self-published author of romance novels. And hey, it's July so I'm wearing my Christmas shirt, not only because it's Christmas in July but the book that we're going to be talking about today is my next book release and it is a Christmas novel. You guys know that it has been quite the journey to get here because I do have a playlist on the channel on when I started writing this book, which was way back in 2021 during NaNoWriMo and I documented the entire thing because I wanted it to be a playlist from book idea to publishing and everything that happens in between and we are now at the end where we're actually publishing the book and I am so excited. So in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys the title of the book, when the book is going to be released, and I'm also going to do a cover reveal. If you are not part of my email list, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but if you are part of my email list, then you probably already know all this information. But before we jump into all that, I want to share with you guys a little montage of how we got here. So... Without further ado, let's jump into the montage. Today is November 3rd. I had an idea for a novel yesterday, which was November 2nd, and I decided maybe it's time to go back to writing something new. I haven't written something new in a long time. It's probably gonna be a really um, long process because it's literally from idea to publishing, I wrote the summary for my book. And that cleared things up so much. Today is November 9th, and today is the day I'm going to start writing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just can't. I have not written a thing in probably five months actually hold on yeah i haven't written anything since november so this is it if i don't write any words today if i don't actually get inspired to write this story right now i'm probably going to put it to rest i've been having really high blood pressure it's really really high and it's not doesn't come down on its own no matter what i'm doing right now when i started feeling better mentally spiritually and physically all of a sudden, the novel was back on. Now I have it all figured out. Be a vlog over the next few days of me writing and finishing the first draft of my Christmas novel. I just need to get to 2000 and hopefully it will be at the end of a scene. My eyes are really hurting me, so it's kind of like I'm trying to just finish, but I am tired. <laughs> Five hundred and sixty-five words in twenty-four minutes. It's November twenty-ninth. It is early in the morning. It is eight thirty-four. It's the earliest I've started writing. I'm excited. It is actually two o'clock. I've done a lot of writing since the last time I think I showed the camera. Guys, it is four o'clock. I'm two hundred and forty-one words away from getting fifty thousand. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I got to 50,000 words. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> so here's the update on the novel. It is done. I have finished proofreading it. It is ready to go. The only thing I have not done is the cover. So I have not shared the cover. I have not shared the name of the book yet or the title of the book yet because I have decided to publish the book next 
Christmas. The release of my Christmas novel is rapidly approaching and I still don't have a cover. I haven't hired a cover designer. I don't have the cover fully formatted. I don't have the edits completely done and I need to order another proof. I mean, there's a lot that I need to do. And I did order the proof and it just got in the mail. quite a lot. I didn't think I was going to make it, you guys. Uh, I There were times when I didn't think this novel was going to happen. And like I said at the beginning, it's by the grace of God that I got here because this is absolutely the best book I have ever written. This is absolutely my favorite novel. I am in love with it. So I am so glad that I persevered, that I stuck with it, that I finished it because I am so, so proud of this novel. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share the cover with you guys. Drum roll, please. Oh my God, look at it. It's so cute, you guys. I am absolutely in love with the cover. It's so Christmassy and it's so cozy because it's got a town. You can't really see it, I think, on screen too much, but it's got a little town in the back. It's got snow. It's got a cookie, which is a very important part of the book. And I am just in love with the way it came out. It's called One Christmas With You, and it is being released this year, November 1st, 2024. Now, if you guys are interested at all in receiving an advanced copy and being part of the art team, I did create a sign up form um, and I will link it in the description box below for you guys to check out. You can read through it, see if it's something that you're interested in doing. And if you are selected as part of my team, you will be notified by email. So make sure that you check that out if it's something that you're looking forward to it, if something that excites you and that you want to do. Also, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite romance trope because this one has the best friend's brother trope. It also has a little bit of enemies to lovers trope. So I know those are two really popular ones that people like. So I did insert those tropes in the novel. So yeah, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see the playlist completely of that montage, I will have it linked below for you guys. The book right now is available for pre-order in digital and print form. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order that, that will make me so, so happy that you guys are actually taking the time to pre-order this labor of love of mine that I have spent so much time on. It would just mean the world to me. And that is it for today's video. Make sure that you leave me a comment below letting me know what your favorite trope is and I will see you again in the next one. Until then, God bless you.